a very warm welcome to this service of the word on Trinity Sunday. It has sometimes been said, using the words of the Athanasian Creed, which is available on the order of service for today, that the Father incomprehensible, the Son incomprehensible, and the Holy Ghost incomprehensible, the whole lot incomprehensible. Jaking apart, today is the day on which many priests dread having to preach, because almost certainly what they will say will end up in some respect being heretical. To get our minds around the doctrine of the Trinity is possibly impossible. Nonetheless, we believe in a God who has made himself known as three persons, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. A community, a relational God who draws us into relationship with him. A relationship of love, a dynamic relationship, one in which we are invited to partake. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Sovereign God, you are neither made nor fashioned by anyone, wonderful beyond measure. You are faithful Father, servant Son, and enlivening Spirit. You are our creator and cause. You are our perfect saviour. You are our intercessor and giver of all good gifts. The Lord has called us forth. Our triune God has made us good. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God's holy name. And those praises are now expressed in the words of our opening hymn, which you can follow on the link that you will find on the order of service. How shall I sing that majesty? Our prayers of penitence. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace to you, from God our Heavenly Father. Peace from his Son, Jesus Christ, who is our peace. Peace from the Holy Spirit the life-giver, the peace of the triune God, be always with you.
and wherever you happen to be this morning, or indeed whenever it is that you are listening to this recording. Be still and know that God is here. Be still and know that God is near. Be still and know that God is here. And reflecting that sentiment, we listen to our second hymn. Again, the link is found on the order of service. Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. Collect for this Trinity Sunday. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love. That we may truly worship you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The Old Testament lesson is written in the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 12 to 17, and verses 7, 27 to the end. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him? Whom did he consult for his enlightenment, and who taught him path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket, and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough, nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. The Lord is the everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Here ends the Old Testament reading. And drawing upon the sentiments of the words of the prophet Isaiah, you may not like now to listen to our next hymn, Thou Whose Almighty Word. The New Testament lesson is written in St Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, beginning at verse 11. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. 
greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Here ends the New Testament reading. I often quote from Malcolm Geith, the chaplain at Girton College, Cambridge, and published poet. Malcolm has written sonnets for almost every feast of the church's year, as well as material for reflection in Lent and Advent. This is one of his offerings for Trinity Sunday. In the beginning, not in time or space, but in the quick, before both space and time, in life, in love, in co-inherent grace, in three in one and one in three, in rhyme, in music, in the whole creation story, in his own image, his imagination, the triune poet makes us for his glory and makes each the other's inspiration. He calls us out of darkness, chaos, chance, to improvise a music of our own, to sing the chord that calls us to the dance, three notes resounding from a single tone, to sing the end in whom we all begin, our God beyond, beside us and within. During this period of lockdown, the choir have nonetheless been active. And we hear them now, if you wish to follow the link, sing the Sanctus, the Holy, 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 adapted from Schubert's Deutsche Mass. This was a recording that was made back in February when the choir uh, were working on a series of recordings which we hope to be able to publish as a CD in the not too distant future. This particular recording has been reworked very kindly by Roger Knight Zena's husband, and you are welcome to listen to it now. In the earliest days of the church, as the doctrine of the Christian gospel was being developed. Many years were spent in trying to codify, in trying to set down in word the mystery of the Trinity. The fruits of that process we have in a number of documents, perhaps most simply the Apostles' Creed, but of course also the Nicene Creed and the Athanasian Creed, both in many respects a little more complex and complicated than the simple baptismal creed of the Apostles. On this order of service you will find both printed. The Nicene Creed, which we're used to reciting at the Eucharist, and then also the Athanasian Creed, the Quincunque Vult, as it is called in the Book of Common Prayer. And indeed, according to the Book of Common Prayer, we are required to recite it at Matins Morning Prayer on Trinity Sunday. On this occasion, I will read the words of the Nicene Creed, 
but you are more than welcome to read through and reflect upon the words of the Athanasian Creed, to which, of course, I made passing reference somewhat flippantly at the beginning of this service. The Father incomprehensible, the Son incomprehensible, and the Holy Spirit incomprehensible. The words now of the Nicene Creed, which of course you are welcome to join in with. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. We come boldly to the throne of grace praying to the Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, for mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven, Father of heaven, whose love profound a ransom for our souls has found. We pray for the world, created by your love, for its nations and governments. We pray particularly at this time for the unrest following the terrible murder of that person in the United States of America. We pray for those governments still seeking ways forward in our current crisis. We pray for a greater sense of cooperation and partnership. Extend to them your peace, pardoning love, mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Almighty Son, incarnate word, our prophet, priest, redeemer, Lord. We pray for the church, created for your glory, for its ministry to reflect those works of yours. Extend to us your salvation, growth, mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Eternal Spirit, 
by whose breath the soul is raised from sin and death. We pray for families and individuals created in your image, for the lonely, the bereaved, the sick and the dying. Breathe on them the breath of life and bring them to your mercy and grace. We plead before your throne in heaven. Thrice holy, Father, Spirit, Son, mysterious Godhead, three in one. We pray for ourselves, for your church, for all whom we remember before you. Bring us all to bow before your throne in heaven, to receive life and pardon, mercy and grace for all eternity, as we worship you saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Our next hymn, hymn 148 in the English hymnal, the numbers throughout the order of service refer to the English hymnal. Our next hymn, The God of Abraham Praise. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our final hymn today, the words of St Patrick's Breastplate, I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity. <laughs> 